tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck, I'ma keep chasing I got all this potential that's deep inside of me But they hate when you Welcome to another useful information And today's topic is about How do you get your C ports to be compatible with your A ports? Now if you look here you're going to try to spin this around. Your computer comes with two C ports right there. And you have your power button. So basically you have to find an adapter in order for it to work. Luckily, I did some research and I found that you can just buy these adapters and I got these two, which is the Hierarchal, which I will just call high because the name is screwy. It makes no sense. And then you got the Ugreen. Ah, nice name, a name I can pronounce. So you got the Ugreen and you got the high. So both of these um, have an extension so that you can put in the C port so that it's compatible with A ports. And the reason why I say A and C, because it's easier than saying USB A, USB C. So I hope that explains a little bit reason why I'm saying it that way. So these are the two products and I'll show you both of those. Here is the high. I like this setup has a very very short cord though but basically you hook up that right there to your c port which i would never do again because it caused my computer to go wooey wooey but it has the hdmi and then you have the usb stick you get two usb drives or connectors and then you got the micro sd card and you have the SD card. So it's beautiful, it's nice. I do not like the cord length. And I'm gonna try to show that a little bit as well. Dang. Laptop just falling down, people. If you hook it up to it, and I'm gonna pretend like it's hooked up. As you can see here, it's not very, it's not very long. So you hook it up, it kind of dangles, which doesn't give you much room if you have it on like a desk or something like that. It's just gonna kind of wobble around. <laughs> doesn't have, it needs a little bit more extension. So anyway, it was throwing codes. It was saying code 43, code 28. Something's wrong with your computer. Call 911, please. So, this just doesn't work at all for me. I would suggest not buying it for the Surface Pro 8 if you got this one. Maybe it's just a screwy one, but it did not work for me. Now, I went and got the Ugreen the next day, which is, by the way, is more affordable. We're talking about $12.99 versus $19.99. I got it on a deal, so that may affect the pricing as well if you're trying to get it. Now it has right here, the USBs right here, right here. Uh, and I believe that's just the uh, stick. So basically has the HDMI of course at the other end. Has the cord for you to hook it up to it. We're gonna go ahead and hook it up as well. As you can see, the cord is longer, gives you a little bit more room, which is what you need when you're hooking up a device. As you can see there, gives you a little bit more length than the other one. The other one is just quite short. So if you were to hook it up in the same spot, See, it's a little short. 
Now I have a WD drive that I hook my stuff up to. And people are like, I, I need to put my, my uh, ca camera stuff, you know, SD cards. I just get a, a reader and you can just hook it up to the port. And then you just hook it, the card into it like that. Boom and it has the reader. So even though it doesn't have the same thing as the more expensive ones, you can get a reader and still have that usage that you're looking for. So that solves that case for you. I would suggest getting this one because it works for me. I don't know about I don't know about other people's laptop and whatnot, but uh, this thing works, you green. It's a solid device. If you're looking to put card readers in, just get yourself an adapter like this. And you can pop it in and you put your cards and it works just like, just like it's supposed to have been made. But I understand why they're just trying to be more technological and advanced. So, you know, we got the C ports, you have to buy an adapter, which is for your A ports. Put it in, still get the same results. There's nothing else to it. So I hope this video helps you out, helps clear up anything that you feel about the drawbacks of having the Surface Pro 8. It's really a nice device. Uh, once again, if you like it, go ahead, subscribe, follow, you know, do whatever magic you do. And please do not buy this thing. I don't know what this is. This thing is crazy, crazy. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day until next time. Potential is deep inside of me But they hate when you're successful Cause they try to be They sit there being just mental Because you try